Yeah, and this shape goes out to all my wonderful friends and colleagues across Poland from Szczecin to Poznania to Warsaw. Hope you're all doing well, and I hope I get to see you soon again. Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina on today, Veterans Day or Remembrance Day, a day where we remember all of those who have lost their lives during armed conflicts. Simply put two words, never forget. Well, today is going to be a Polish shave in the majority of products. I have a shaving soap, an aftershave, razor and blade. So let's start off with the shaving soap. It's the Bergamotto. Midro do Golenia. That's shaving soap in Polish. And it is from Midlana Chata from Poland. This is a Polish artisan soap. Now that's a phrase I'm not sure I would have expected to say if you'd asked me three years ago, think there'll be an artisan soap out of Poland? I would have probably said, mm, I don't know, probably not, but why not? Well, here it is. This is a beef tallow, uh, beef tallow soap with shea butter, almond oil, castor oil, as well as a touch of kaolin clay. This is a very tacky, soft soap. It reminds me a great deal of the texture of the original Wickham formulas, and the scent on this is very, very light. It is a bergamot scent, but the scent is very, very light. So if there was one thing I'd recommend right off the bat for this artisan, which is to up the scent strength on these soaps. Let's talk about performance when we get into it, but number one, scent strength, definitely light out of the tub. Now, we're also going to be using a Polish razor. First of all, let me just say thank you, by the way, to my dear friend Anja Fabogowska, who brought me a number of these artisan soaps from Poland, including also an olive oil-based soap, which is sort of a body soap, which is very, very cool. Today's razor is a Polish razor. It is the Visamet, the W11. I hope you can, you may be able to see that on the bottom of the razor, maybe. There are two styles of this razor, apparently. There's one which has this smooth handle, and there's another which has, um, I don't know, kind of a textured grip to it. Uh, this is the smooth handled version with just very slight, like uh, just flat ridges on it. Hope you can see that. It is a, uh, a razor made in Poland under license from Gillette. It is an adjustable razor. It is not a simple clone of the Gillette adjustables. Um, it is pretty aggressive and a little bit harsh on seven and over. So today I'll probably shave starting off with a six down to a four and then down to a three for the final pass. The other interesting thing is that somehow this screw seems to go the opposite direction for me. Just intuitively, I was going the wrong direction. Whatever, it works. In there, we're going to use a blade which came by complete coincidence. I actually have a case for this, which came with a set of the original Super Iridium, the Visamet blades. That's the case that the, uh, that the razor came in. However, I'm not gonna use those blades. I'm gonna use these Visamet blades which happened to come completely by coincidence in another mail call I got with a number of American uh, vintage shaving soaps like some old Colgate and some Williams. Um, so this is a complete surprise because this happened to come at exactly the right time for this almost all Polish shave. So I'm gonna be using those blades which come in this wrapper and which look like this, the pole silver, stainless. So I'm gonna put that into the, uh, into the razor. Mechanically, it still works quite well. Just screw that up nice and tight. Here it does a distinct click as the blade gets pushed into position. I'm gonna start off on position number six for the with the grain pass. Today's brush is going to be, this is sort of chosen at random. It is the 30 millimeter Monster Yaki Synthetic. Wonderful, wonderful brush. Now, as I said, I have um, pressed some of this soap into the soap loading bowl. It's very, very soft, very kind of creamy. This brush is gonna pick up a lot of the soap and I'll have to use a bit of water to uh, really get it to work. So let me get my face wet, we'll get the brush wet through, and then we'll go ahead and start shaving. I think I have got one, I have two more of these soaps. One is a, um, the scent profile is cologne, and it smells a little bit like the Vars um, commercial soap, a kind of a similar scent profile. 
Again, also pretty lightly scented. And then I have a vegan one, which is a laurel oil. And so the reason I picked that one is because I've had such good luck with the Abati Lamantia laurel based soap, the uh, Laureato. Interesting to try this one as well. Okay, I'm gonna shake out the brush. It's gonna pick up a lot of the soap because the soap is very tacky and very, very soft. So I'm just gonna dip the tips a little bit in the water and we'll just go ahead and start. Start lathering. I wouldn't be surprised if most of that ends up in the brush because it is quite soft and the brush just pulls it right out of the loading bowl. Yeah, that looks like, yeah, a fair amount of that is already gone. And it doesn't look like much in the brush, but I'm gonna get a bit of water onto the brush. I'm just dripping a few drops on there. I'm gonna get my face wet again. And then go and start building the lather. Now, when you start to lather the soap, you do get a stronger sense of the bergamot scent, but I would certainly not call this scent strong at all. Yeah, and this shape goes out to all my wonderful friends and colleagues across Poland from Szczecin to Poznania to Warsaw. Hope you're all doing well, and I hope I get to see you soon again. Yeah, I would say, by the way, start with a dryer brush and try not to drown out the soap, which I think would be relatively easy. It doesn't need that much water to get going. As always for these Sunday shades, it's two days, two days worth of growth. All right, I'm gonna add just a touch more water. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of one of the fun parts of this hobby is that there's always kind of something new or unexpected around the corner. And yeah, there's no reason not to think that Poland will be making artisan soaps. It just really never really ever seen anything about this. I don't know if this is the only person making artisan soaps in Poland. I want to thank, by the way, a YouTube viewer who pointed this out to me, and it was a person, I believe it was Too Fast Too Furious T, who in a comment on a previous shave said, hey, by the way, you should check out these guys, the Milana Hata, and checked it out. My friend Anja Fabogowska was coming over from Poland, happened to be perfectly timed, brought me some soaps. I happened to see this razor for sale, picked it up, happened to get those blades completely out of the blue from somebody as part of a separate mail call, and like it just all somehow came together beautifully. Okay, let's go ahead and start shaving the Bizamet number W11 on setting number six for the first pass. You're gonna hear some pretty good feedback. Good slickness to the soap, by the way. Very easy shaves all week. Person that I bought the razor from did cost me a bit about sending seven and over. And yeah, I would say six is about as far as I want to go. It's not that it's bad, it just a little raw. Definitely want to watch the pressure too. It's a little easy to overshave with this on setting six.
There we go. Fits easily under the nose too, which is pretty nice. There we go. Really liking that blade too. It's not like it's uh, somehow like miraculously super smooth. It just feels very effective in the razor. All right, let's go ahead and get lathered up for pass number two. Hopefully not too much water dripping down my head. As you can see, plenty of lather still left. A nice, slick, kind of soft, creamy face feel to it. A very nice Midro do Colenia. For some reason, when you say those kinds of words, I feel like I have to lower my voice a little bit, add a bit of gravitas to it. All right, let's go ahead and set the razor for setting number four. So I'm just gonna loosen it a little bit. And we're gonna switch it from six down to four. And we'll do the uh, across the grain. Two and one, by the way, are incredibly mild settings. So no point to those really, they're just too mild for me. Four has got a very nice kind of mid feel to it. And I will say overall, the construction of the razor actually feels solid and well made. I have a new old stock um, Russian Ideal that I've never used. That feels plasticky and a little cheap. Maybe more than a little cheap. Nope. Well, if I caught myself, it looks like I did. I certainly didn't feel it. Touch of overhang here, so you do have to watch out. Really interesting debate on Reddit about that, by the way. For that person who just doesn't understand why I keep mentioning it. Just kind of a cautionary mention. I mean, people definitely know that the blade edge is sharp. That looks bad, by the way. It really isn't that bad at all. Just wet. There we go. All right. Final pass, and I'm going to dial that down to, to three. Yeah, that's the first nick I've had in quite a while, actually. No nicks, certainly during the week. All right. Squeeze out the remaining lather. As you can see, nice, kind of shiny, sleek, dense lather coming from the soap. Very, very nice. Really enjoyed it all week. There we go. All right. Last pass. Shift this down to setting number three. I'm just loosening it before I retighten it and change the setting. All right, here we go. This is the against the grain. 
very light touch here still very good audible feedback Yeah, really nice thickness to the soap there. I don't feel that nick at all, but I have a feeling, a suspicion It's going to be a bit more obvious to me when I put on the aftershave, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, overall, very nice shapes this week. And really kind of three surprises in one. Unexpected Polish Artisan Zoe. Midwo. Perfectly timed option to purchase the Visa Met. And then, by complete coincidence, those blades. Beautiful. Just love how when these things come together sometimes, it's fantastic. Okay, let me go to rinse off my face. Yep, yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. There is some residual slipness to the soap, but not a great deal, but it's also not super easy to rinse. A little bit of tightness, but no, but no dryness. I mean, post shave is pretty good, but not sort of like one of those crazy standouts. There we go. Towel off a little bit. Yeah, man, fast, fast, easy shave. Really enjoying that razor, actually. Wasn't quite sure what to expect. Like I said, the ideal that I have is is not uh, not built to give you a sense of kind of confidence that it's really going to be working well. That is a much, much better razor. Okay, today we're going to end up with the citrus scented with a touch of lavender a very classic Polish eau de cologne. I know it has a bit of a storied past in Poland in certain parts of recent history where people were maybe not using this as aftershave but perhaps using this as an aperitif. No, I don't recommend that. Um, I think the scent is fantastic. Um, it is an eau de cologne, it's not really an aftershave, so it is a little bit strong. The scent is quite distinct and lasts quite a while. It is the Przemysławka from Poznania. A beautiful, beautiful classic European aftershave. Oh, just a beautiful light, beautiful light citrus scent with just a touch of the lavender in there. Mm. Very, very quick dry down. Some may find this to be a little bit on the uh, slightly artificial lemon scent, and that's true for maybe the first first minute or so but then as it warms up it just becomes a nice clean classic light lemon scent with a touch a touch of additional floral scent behind it um, very very nice really really enjoy it during the week oh yeah and as i said this definitely persists over the course of the day yeah that did not even burn at all that aftershave went on so I'm not sure what's going on there a little bit of like a tiny weeper nick kind of thing not to worry 
All right, my friends, I think that is it for today. Another fantastic Sunday shave is in the books. All right, let's just roar through these products again. Visamet W11 adjustable razor, one through nine, uh, made under license by Gillette in Poland. Easy to use. I would not recommend going over six myself. I just did not really kind of like how it felt on the skin. However, six and below, very nice, easy shaves. Uh, easy to use, feel solid. It is, by the way, a little bit heavy, head heavy, so that's just something to bear in mind. In there, I have one of these fantastic Pulse Silver Visa Med blades. Beautiful blade. I'm looking forward to using that and some additional razors coming up. And I'll probably stick with that for the next, uh, the next couple shaves because I've already opened the pack. Might as well use them. The soap today is this Midro do Colenia Bergamotto from the Milana Hata. I hope I'm saying that right. I may not be. It is a very soft towel based soap, sticky and tacky in texture. You will load more into your brush than you expect if you're loading directly from the container. So just watch out. Don't press down too hard. Really, no reason to. Um, you can get, you don't need very much on the tips of your brush to build quite a nice lather. Overall, very happy with that soap. Good slickness, good protection. Post shave is kind of middle of the road. A little bit of tightness, but not too much dryness, but in some ways it doesn't much matter because I'm splashing on the aftershave, which I'll talk about in a second. That's not gonna much matter anyway. 30 millimeter monster brush from Yaki. Very, very nice synthetic brush. So easy to use, easy handle shape. Um, the knot is just fantastic. Just soft, easy. No complaints about that brush whatsoever. And then finally, Eau de Cologne, the aftershave, the Pshemba Swafka, citrus scented, relatively high alcohol content. So if you have overshaved, for those of you that are chasing that BBS all the time, you're gonna know when you put this back on. No irritation this week at all from those shaves. So when this goes on, no real alcohol burn at all, just a nice light burst of the citrus, a nice even cool down, and it just turns into a, just a, a very mellow, slim and scent. Yeah, beautiful, okay, well, not too bad. Other than that one little spot right there, I am extremely happy with that shave. I just want to thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. As always, please feel free to leave a question or comment against this video or any previous video. Thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.